So tonight at five, we've got new information on our years long investigation into those crumbling sidewalks downtown. As News 4 troubleshooter Emily Bauckham reports for us tonight, the city's one step closer to a permanent fix. When you're walking near the Alamo, watch for these skylights where sidewalks are built on top of basements. When you look at the steel up here and you see the glass blocks that have dropped, um, you, you immediately see the, the potential for catastrophic failure. Three years ago, a troubleshooter's investigation warned the sidewalks were crumbling. Then last summer, when a man fell through... All of a sudden, just the, the sidewalk just came in. The city set aside money to finally fix the problem. We just drove by them. They look pretty much the same. When's that going to change? We have a plan. Today, Councilman Roberto Trevino, who represents downtown, showed us new designs for safer sidewalks. So this is what's being proposed. If approved, the sidewalks would be supported from underneath. The designs eliminate glass and incorporate color. We have a huge responsibility to get this right. And so it's not your typical poured in place sidewalk. So why has it taken three years to get to this point? Well, the sidewalks are public, but the basements below are private property. We're having to work with every individual owner of those properties. And in the meantime, can you assure people that these sidewalks are safe? They're currently safe. They may not be pretty, uh, but they're safe. The councilman says there's a reason this went unchecked for so long. That's why he's now proposing a new city position, someone who would be held accountable for the condition of our sidewalks. This is a, a pathway to a solution. He's also pushing for a new city commission to help audit the whole system and prevent sidewalks from crumbling the way we've exposed. I'm News 4 troubleshooter Emily Balkum.